Hey, somebody has asked me about putting mud on any level. Now, first thing you'll want to do is decide what level you want to put mud in. I'm assuming you already got one in mind that ain't, that does not have mud in it. So what we're going to do is load up the game. And you're going to load your level that you want mud in. Now mud already exists in here. I think. Maybe it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. You need to have a user folder created for that level first. So if you haven't done this yet. Then load your level. And once it loads go into the world editor. And simply save the level. So hit F11. And then right here save the level. And what that's going to do is in the default user folder. It's going to create a folder in levels. And you'll see the folder for the level that you just saved. Now what this will be for you is just a folder you open and it may have one or two things in it but that's fine all this other stuff don't matter you're going to create a folder in the main folder here for that level called ground models and what you're going to do is put in the ground models dot json now where you get that is where the game is actually installed so we're going to go to the install folder for the game in the steam library steam apps common beam ng drive and in here you should see game engine.zip open this zip file and in the art folder you will see ground models .json. copy this to your clipboard then go back to that saved level and in that folder you created paste that ground models .json. now open this and I would recommend using Notepad++. It's a free program. It's easy to use. It's just like any other text editor. It's just, it's just better. So what you can do if you're going to make mud, the best thing to do is start with mud. Now this is assuming that the question was related to making a custom mud that's deeper than the default game mud so we're going to scroll down here to mud and i've already done this once i'll do it again i did it in the previous video that i had to start over on so what you're going to do is you're going to copy from here to that bracket you're not going to get that first bracket. See, the bracket and the comma separates the different ground models. So just get this up to this bracket, copy it to your clipboard, and then go down to under mud, like right here, before the next one starts, which should be sand. Hit enter and hit paste. And what that's going to do is put a copy of the mud put like a number three next to it now go down here to default depth and 1.0 is the maximum depth the only way you can get more depth than that is to um, reduce the fluid density we'll do that in a minute let's just leave it here for now because you can get you can mess that up and have it too too soupy and you just go on through it so save this 
Now, if your level's already loaded, you may have to reload it. Let me see. That I think you probably do. Let me see if it's in the list. Oh, it is. It is in there actually. Okay. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do, go to your terrain tools. Go to your terrain painter. And assuming that it's not there is not a mud in here you're going to create a new texture so we're going to go to our terrain material library here that should open a tab your tab probably will be floating out here if you want to you can anchor yours over here as i did like that by just holding your mouse and dragging it and dropping it in there so you're going to make a new material. You see this plus sign. And call this whatever you're going to call it. I'm going to call it Mud 3. And then add material. Now once you add that material. You can now modify it here. So we're going to pick Mud 3. And we're going to save changes to file. <laughs> back over here in the terrain painter you're going to find that mud 3 and select it now we're going to go find a place to test it we'll just go over here find a spot this is where the other spot from the last video <laughs> start over on so this mud three, we're painting it here. Now you're gonna like they don't look like mud. Now that's not the point. This this is the this is the ground model. You can do the texture later. This is to test it, make sure it's working. Uh, once you paint it, just I think you have to rebuild collisions, but let me make sure you may not. Let's bring the car over here. Yeah, that's not that's not doing mud. So. Yeah, you do got to rebuild collisions, and you should sink in the stuff. Yeah. Now that's like the deepest you can sink into it without messing with the uh, other thing I told you. The other thing being the fluid density let's see if I put this uh, 0 0.1 for example and save you see the car is already lifting up out of the ground so I'll put it back at 1 and you'll see it sink so as I save changes it should sink back down sometimes you gotta reload it Uh, once you start messing it like it'll let you like do a couple updates and then it'll like not make a difference anymore and you just have to reload it let's change this fluid density because you did see already the deepest that it would go let's change this to like 1000 let's save actually I think I think 700 is the minimum you can go Anything below 700, I believe, will not have any buoyancy. So we're going to put 600 and see, because I think it, I think that's the number. Well, you already see we sunk in there, right? Let's uh, go back to our vehicle. Yeah, we ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. So fluid density zero. Or zero point one. 
Uh, you can only go so far into the terrain block like this. If you really wanted to go deep into something, you'd need to actually have a mesh. A three-dimensional mesh that normally like something you would drive on that let me show you so over here I got these things that I poured it over from Unreal 5 uh, they're just a couple rocks uh, but we're gonna pretend like they're mud so we're gonna take this big one here and just keep in mind you know this can be any asset you can make a mud mesh and blender something that acts like mud I mean that looks like mud like a you know like a mud pile or something but, damn it let me just re-import it in I don't like trying to drag that and drop it over here again Right, now I'm going to make the ground be lower than this. Now this thing's material, we'll scroll down to additional info and ground type, I'll pick mud 3. This is the texture for this object by the way. Alright now that's, now I save it and now I rebuild collisions, oh wait a minute, yeah rebuild collisions. And now, when I drive on this, it'll allow me to sink even farther. Or should, anyway. Because there's no ground below actually holding me up. So I said, the ground, you can only go so far down in the ground. And if you want to go even farther down, then you got to have like a mesh. Something that has some depth to it that actually has a, a space that can pretend to be mud you know what I mean so we can tweak this setting of this fluid density of this mud 3 and we'll go like 700 and save it I should be able to just uh, pause the game it's, if you're gonna do like tests like this the easiest thing to do is like pause the game pick up your vehicle and move it so that it's above the object because when you reset you'll reset above it you can easily just back and forth between the two so we'll unpause it we still went through that so let's put to 4000 we'll save it we'll reset It looks like it's kind of trying to catch the car. Let's put 6,000. I thought it was 700. Damn, was I wrong? We're still going through that. We're probably going to go through it. Because I don't, I don't think... I think it was actually 7,000 to begin with. I don't remember. Yeah, 7,000 was what the initial initial starting point was so it's to seven thousand we're still sinking into that shit may have to reload this may be one of these times 
don't know. Well, I know we wouldn't sink in 700,000. So if it's still sinking in here, then okay. Yeah. So let's do 8,000. I don't know how. I don't know. I'm not a math person. I suck at math. My math class, I was in math class with the other football with with not the other i wasn't a football player i was in math class with football players so that tells you how dumb i was in math because they all were about dumb as rocks i'm about dumb as two sacks of rocks so yeah i'm not a math whiz somebody good at math probably knows about buoyancy and fluid densities and all that shit my way of figuring it out is just try a bunch of numbers, and when you find something that works for you, then that, that's, the, that's the magic number. So you see, you can play with that, and you can get it to a pretty good, or, you know, you're kind of getting stuck at the same time you're... Uh, you got a little, and each car is probably different because of the weight. Or sinking slower. Now these other settings, I'm not going to get into them. But they all do stuff. kind of what I was going for. For this example. And you can use these settings I, I set. I don't, uh, in fact, I'll zip this file and send it 